Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to the next episode of me playing with the 183rd Air Assault. In the last episode, we saw that the North Koreans crossed the DMZ and in a surprise attack, they hit us at our forward operating base. Now, I've spent the last episode holding my position and taking out a lot of enemy soldiers, but I started to run low on ammunition pretty quick. So now that I'm resupplied, I'm going back to the position that I held in the last episode just to try and hold off the enemy for as long as we can. They keep coming and coming in waves. So what's going to happen is either we're going to fall back here and lose this forward operating base or we're going to hold out to the very last man. So I'll go ahead and cut it right here just to show you guys what happens next. And per tradition, I'll just go ahead and cut in periodically to kind of let you know what's going on with the mission and provide any commentary needed. Have fun. Back, bro. Got a squad coming on the hill. Tibbets, I just took one in the head. Nah, I should be able to. I'm just going to put a tourniquet around my neck. Um, I'm just kidding, bro. Just put a tourniquet around my neck, cut off the oxygen, no oxygen, no pain. I might need a medic this time. Left arm. I'm gonna tourniquet though. Uh, one one. This is one two alpha. Snack bar has taken two hits. One to the arm. One to the head. Request that Dunnington sings a top forty hit though. Request requesting that Dunnington six, uh, sings a top forty hit. What year do you want? Do you want like modern? Oh, I don't care. Dunnington is behind you. They're behind you. They're everywhere. <laughs> Sorry to keep you busy, Dunnington. Did you hear my special request for a top 40 hit from you this time? A top 40 hit? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to be singing, I'm going to put in requests. <laughs> yeah, you and me, bro. <laughs> Dude, you and me both. Okay, so if you didn't watch the last episode, Dunnington was singing Everybody Hurts to me while he was patching me up, which is why this time I requested a top 40 hit. And it's also the reason why we love Dunnington, because he's absolutely awesome and hands down a fun medic. So I've been hit pretty bad. Tibbets has been hit pretty bad, as well as the rest of our fire team. As I mentioned earlier, we've taken out a lot of North Koreans, but we've paid a pretty heavy price in doing so. Now, not only do we find out that ourselves are in pretty rough shape, but I soon find out that my weapon is here, too. Find a gun that shoots faster. <laughs> oh, Tibbets is hit behind you, Dunnington. Yeah, I see. You're good to go in. Alright, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on you. Don't worry. Uh, Tibbets, where were you engaging him at? left in these positions. Martin, have you resupplied and managed to make your way back? I'm engaged in the town. Tibbets, I'm jammed.
All right, let's see if I got it cleared. Snag is almost empty. You engage in the town? Yeah. There's a sniper somebody, somewhere I see. Hey, Martin Bolden, you check any sniper fire? Say again? You catch any sniper fire? Uh, I think so, I keep getting shot at. When I'm really, like, really close to getting hit. Sometimes I do get hit, but most of the time it's... Pretty close. I don't think I, I don't think any of these guys with these rifle. You guys, you guys all good in terms of uh, ammo, medic. Hey. Uh, yeah, we're all good in terms. Well, ammo. I need a re I need a full resupply because I'm on my left. Go ahead, resupply. Okay. Uh, fire team, I'm going back to resupply. I'll be back in about two minutes. Tibbets, I think I found this sniper. All right, landing. Um, basically, at about zero one five, there's rocks in a tree. There's a sniper in that location, right at the base along the rocks. Okay, don't peek up anymore. I'm gonna you coming. Right on, dude. Zero. Well, then I will patch myself up. Even though that there's an Apache on the way, I still have to do everything I can to defend this position and help the other members of the 183rd. So I'm going to go ahead and support them by taking out the enemy that I see over on the right. Alright, there's a lot of guys at about 050 off in those trees. You mind if I try and support? And suppress them? Okay. Okay, okay I'm on a return trip back to it. I'm almost here. Did you get that sniper? No, I didn't. Okay, so at about like zero one five, you see those those rocks and then the tree that's sticking up just from the farthest right rock. Yeah. So he was basically peeking his head out from that rock on the right side. I'm going to keep supporting the guys on the right side. Reloading again. Martin Bolden, pick up fire. Uh, reloading. I've got one more belt after this. Them. See those two 
There we go. Oh, there you are. Copy that. Uh, fire team, we're gonna rally up uh, to the closest tower or to our east. The one that's blown up and has body sticking out of it. Let's all pull out, guys. Pull out of the towers. Give me a sec, bro. We got somebody really close. Thanks to the help of the Apache, we've slowed the North Korean attack. Now, they're regrouping, and they're going to be pushing for another huge attack here pretty soon, which means that our priority now has gone from holding this position to getting out of here as quickly as we can. We're all going to regroup at the motor pool, and we're going to convoy out from this forward operating base. I want you two to go to the motor pool. All right. All right. Two go there. All right. I'll follow you, Bolden. We're doing good. Landing told us to go to the motor pool. We're headed there now. Bolden, I'm your gunner. Ashby, Bolden's out. I switched to driver. If I'm Unfortunately for me, Bolden disconnected, and he was in the driver's seat, which means I'm going to have to get off the gun and move to the driver's position. Now, this is the area that we're going to try and get to. It's a forward operating base farther behind our lines. You can tell it's a lot smaller than the one that we have right now, but the helicopters have made their way over there, and so now we're gathering everything that we've got on the ground and trying to get to that position too. Remember, this is deployment for us, so any asset that we lose now, we're not going to be able to use it later, so we want to grab every single thing that we can out of this forward operating base. Now, I'm going to be close to the back of the convoy, which it means that if there's any problems whatsoever, I'm going to have to be the one to deal with it. But I'm not in the best position to be able to provide that much help myself. I'm wounded pretty badly. I'm still bleeding. And it's only going to get worse as this convoy progresses. Remember, stay on the, uh, the, the road. Okay. Slowing down for bridge. We've got to stop vehicle. Hey, firm. Uh, vehicle with gun proceeding. Help out. Stop the vehicle. All right, we'll do. If you need to 
medicate, sort your medical out now. One five, be advised, we are herringbone. Come on. Visual on your herringbone. If um, all Vicks, let me know when you're uh, ready to go. Dunnington, I'm gonna need you. Hey, dude. I passed out once while I was driving. Okay. What's that? Said I don't want to drive. You be driver. It works easier when I'm not. <laughs> right on, dude. One five. I'm uh, patching up snack bar in the rear herringbone vehicle. Hey, family. All right. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but that's okay. You can imagine. Got all the time in the world. <laughs> Beautiful day in South Korea. The birds are singing. The North Koreans are attacking. Now, obviously, in these types of missions, you don't want to get hit. But at least in the 183rd, you have the bright side of beginning to spend some time with Dunnington. As you've seen already, it's always a great time. But as we're heading on in the convoy, uh, it just turns out to be a blast. Oh, what a beautiful sunny day. This is a good day for a drive, Snack Bar. Nice Sunday afternoon. Right? Countryside. We have a thing to worry about. <laughs> Dunnington, you're the reason we have nice things. <laughs> now, this is a big map, and so it's taken us a long time to get from the old forward operating base to the one that we're falling back to. So, yeah, we've had some fun along the way, but things turn very serious very quickly once we realize that we've got a medical emergency in the vehicle in front of us. I got left anyways, I'm gonna be running real low here. Oh no, I got shit in my back. I got I think he's bat patching himself up. Yeah, watch out those trucks, it's a bit uneven. I'm watching the rear, so. Alright. This is rear Vic. We've got one Vic in front of us that stopped. We're holding with him. Roger that. Middle Vic with gun. Pull left and then hold up for the rear Vic. Dunnington's gotten out of rear Vic and is getting in there to see what's going on. Roger that. Uh, we'll proceed with convoy. Second gun of Vic. You're going to become a new rear security. Dunnington, how you doing, bro? This is Snack Bar getting out. I'm going to go check out, see what's going on in the other Vic. How you doing over here? You guys all right? I got to get Paul Crack out of this thing. Okay. Because, like, he's 99 times a messed up. Oh, seriously? Yeah. I got him out. He's out, Dunnington. Dunnington, he's out. Oh, you got him. Alright, I've got Paul 
track. I'm gonna go load them up in your car, snack bar. Gotcha. Then you drive them back as fast as you can, because this guy needs some serious attention. All right. The Brotherhood of ARs. Dunnington, I'll cover you from up here. Let me know when you're ready to move. All right, he's loaded in snack bar. Go. All right, driver's seat. I'm gonna wait here with this vehicle, so. I was glad I was able to get out of the vehicle to see what I could do to help, because not only did I help Dunnington, but I was also able to help out Polterak, who's a fellow automatic rifleman. Uh, we ARs stick together. Now, because Polterak is critically wounded and he's been loaded into the vehicle, I'm going to try and sprint to the forward operating base as quickly as I could. But because of the importance of us holding on to all of our assets, remember, we're on deployment, so if we lose a vehicle and just abandon it, we're not going to get it back to be able to use in future missions. Command has actually sent two MRAPs back to try to see if we can pick up the vehicle and bring it to the forward operating base. Now, I'm going to stick with them because I don't want to go to the forward operating base all by myself. Yes, Polterak is critically wounded, but if I pass out from my wounds or something else happens, I don't want to be out all alone without any assistance. So they're on their way back. I'm going to link up with them, and then we're going to head to the forward operating base together. I'm going to link up with you guys and head back with you. Hey, if somebody can get in this vehicle, I've got Polterak, who's critical. Mate, we haven't got anything for him. Let's get these vehicles back. The way you can tell how much blood that you've lost in the ACE-3 medical system is based off of how much color you've lost on your screen. So you can tell I have lost a lot of blood. What's been happening is as I've been traveling to the forward operating base, my wounds have been opening up. And I've been trying to do everything I can to apply the right bandages in the right order to make sure that I appropriately close the wounds. And I think I do, but they keep opening up again. So now I've run out of the bandages that I actually need to be able to close this up. So I'm applying any single bandage that I can just as a temporary fix. Because remember, I've got Polterak who's critically wounded in this vehicle. And I have to get myself and him to get appropriate medical treatment. Now, this is going to be a close call because I could pass out again from the loss of blood, in which case I don't know how long it's going to be until somebody can pick me up. Now, we do have an Apache up in the air who is watching us, so if I do fall behind, I guess they'll spot me. But still, I've got to do everything I can, and I'm getting super worried that I'm not going to make it back to the forward operating base. Now, it looks like I'm going to make it to the forward operating base after all. Now, I'm going to park as quickly as I can, get out, get myself patched up, but also I got to make sure that Polterat gets the appropriate medical attention. But overall, if you think about it, getting ambushed by the North Koreans at a time where nobody was expecting, defending that position, and then falling back to the forward operating base, overall, we did a very good job, and I would consider this a very successful mission. But that's going to be it here for this one. If you want to join the 183rd Air Assault, you can. I'll put it in the comments below where you guys can sign up. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already. You can follow me on Facebook by searching War is Hell Gaming. You can follow me on Twitter at underscore War is Hell. And of course, there's the Patreon, which all donations, of course, are very much appreciated and goes to help out the channel. War is Hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.